Goddess and Gems. I'm Tara, your Jewelry Insider, and today I am here with Monique, one of our own GSN Gems, and we're going to be talking about jewelry trends for the summer. This summer, I love it. We are stacking necklaces. We are mixing charms in with it, different pendants. Now, listen, if you're like me, I love seeing what the celebrities are doing on the red carpet. And right now, Gwyneth Paltrow and Blake Lively, they are all about this trend. The jewelry that we're showing you today is from one of our own shows, Exquisite Estate Jewelry and Gems. So, we are in for a treat. Monique, what is it that you like about the trend of the season? I just love how it just shows a lot of flexibility. Like, I love the fact that, you know, you can just wear one single chain, like the one I'm wearing right now, you know, to work, to be a little conservative. And then if you want to get off work and be a little stylish, you can just add layers and keep adding just to have that statement, that statement style. Do you have a specific, like, way that you start your layering process when it comes to your jewelry? I start with what I want to wear first, right? And I would like to layer it so each one has their own individual space and it can show. So I might start off with something, a necklace that's shorter and then layer it with something else lower. I kind of love how they double down on these. Like you have, you know, another short chain like this one. And then they did another layer with um, these emeralds here. What's important about what Monique likes in this trend is that she can take this from work to evening. You can just yeah. add pieces, layer pieces. The bigger, the better, the more bold. You can go out at night and take your day look to evening. That's what's amazing about jewelry. It's so versatile. Mm -hmm. You can go out with friends and you can dress your outfit completely up, change the entire look just by adding and layering more pieces on top of what you already have. Another thing that I want to talk about is the size of it. I mean, look at these pieces back here. Monique, would you have ever stacked all of these together? Maybe you would, because you are right on trend. <laughs> but these are gorgeous and they're all big and bold. Yes, I love, love, love them. They make a statement. They definitely tell a story, which I which I really love. You know, with the crosses, like this is definitely, you know, a sign of spirituality, you know? Or even with the hearts, like, who doesn't love love or who doesn't love hearts for just like being in love you know that tells a story I love that you said tells a story <laughs> because one of my most favorite things about jewelry is that a lot of our pieces come from a moment or come from a person and when you wear them you think about that person or you think about that moment um, this piece right here I love love emerald it's my birthday it's my birthstone uh, yes. this month the birthstone of May and my great-grandmother great-grandmother had a birthday <laughs> one day after mine oh wow and so she gave me some beautiful emerald pieces now this is the thing about jewelry Monique yeah I could have received it 10 days ago, 10 years ago. My grandmother could have received it 50 years ago, but it's going to last. Right. And it's going to look exactly the same if you take care of it. I mean, do you have pieces like that that are sentimental to you? Definitely. Like, speaking of grandmothers, like, I have a necklace that my grandmother gave me, and it has a few pendants on it as well. And I, I wear it all the time. I wear it with other jewelry that have other pendants and, you know, from my mother and, and my father and I wear them all together and it's just like, they're with me all the time, so. I totally agree with that. I love that story. And listen, here's something that you maybe don't know. I bet Monique knows this, she's very <laughs> on trend. But what about mixing metals? I mean, I have some dresses that already come with metals on them, maybe in a cuffling, mm -hmm. maybe in a button, um, some kind of statement stud. It's now okay to mix metals. Yes, yes. I see a lot of people doing like silver and gold. Like I would never do that before, you know, but they're doing, they're out here doing, especially in Hollywood, they're putting their like studded necklaces together, diamond studded and silver necklaces, white gold, yellow gold. And it just works. Even like the, the, the material, it could be like different, different textures of gold or different textures of silver, which I kind of see like with this one here too. I love all this. Who would have ever thought to put two crosses together? Yeah. I mean, most people would say, oh, that's too much. Listen, gems, never too much. Yes. Not with jewelry. Yes. Look at this tricolored tourmaline. It is huge, and I have to tell you, I love it with the opal. 
Yeah. I love all these statements. We're not only mixing metals, we're mixing stones here. Right. And I think that's an amazing trend for summer. So if you love all these pieces, we want to keep the conversation going. We want to hear from you, but we also want you to tune into our live show at the Gem Shopping Network. We are on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I've had so much fun talking with Monique. Guys, can you tell this girl is stylish? She is always <laughs> on point. She's always fun to talk with. I want to hear from you. But again, remember, tune into our show 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and stay tuned for more insider tips.